Yeah, Gumi exposes army tactics, send message to Tinubu on what? Amashe Gumi said the Nigerian military has been hard on bandits with the approach it uses to win the war against banditry in the north parts of the country. He said both the army and air force troops have launched ground and air strike that have killed the bandit families, wives and children, which have angered them as they see it as war. Hence, they reacted with new uh, attacks and abductions. The cleric made this assertion on Wednesday, March 20, while speaking on Twitter space, spaces organized by Daily Trust on Wednesday, March 20. According to Gumi, it is only a non-kinetic, only a non-kinetic approach that can halt the activities of bandits in the north. He noted specifically that the Nigerian army and the Air Force attack on the bandits so far has worsened the situation of insecurity and recurring abductions in the north. To them, military, they are fighting a war. Mm, honestly, the military has been very hard on them. The Air Force is killing their families, Gumi said. Gumi made this statement days after he told the federal government that he is ready to negotiate with bandits for the release of 287 abducted school children from Kuriga government secondary and their primary school in the Chikum local government area of Kaduna State. Speaking further on Wednesday, the cleric added that the Niger Delta region is relatively peaceful after the Nigeria government had turned, uh, granted amnesty to militants and appointed their leaders, noting that the same method must be applied to bandits currently ravaging the country. Gumi gave a similar occurrence on how former President Musa Yaradwa gave amnesty to the oil-rich Niger Delta militants, which stopped the kidnapping of expatriates. Look at all uh, a lot of Nigerians have been saying that we need a non-kinetic approach to this problem because it is socio-economic things in it. If you say you will use the military is like killing a fly with a hammer it will just worsen it and cause a lot of collateral damage and avoidable that is avoidable collateral damage that is avoidable meanwhile sheikh ahmad gumi said no nigeria is financing terrorism as claimed by the federal government gumi stated this while reacting to the recently released list of people linked to terrorism financing in nigeria speaking on twitter spaces organized by daily trust on wednesday gumi said say nobody hmm, nobody 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 is sponsoring how did he know hmm, that is to tell you that he knows so he wants to take the government's attention from that area that it's only non-kinetic just give them amnesty give them this pet them beg them give them money build some things for them specially are they not in nigeria uh the fulani people or whatever they call themselves have they ever gone to anywhere hospital and they say they will not be attended to have they gone to school they say they should not attend the school i don't understand what these people are saying are they in a separate do they have a separate place that uh, is away from the developments or whatever the what the government can do i don't understand they are among the people so why is it that they don't go to school he started with all this uh, full and yes men that they don't go they don't have the opportunity to go to school who asked them not to go to school if that is what they have chosen the business they have chosen we are from people who did not go to the four walls of schools in this country they want to go and learn one or two things are they the only people suffering i don't just understand you talk about the niger data the niger data there's a reason the people are doing their own thing you come and spoil it you spoil their thing they are their source of livelihood that was what led to the issue of a, 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 a unrest in that say, as is it is the government that went to go and look for their trouble but now you say these guys are not uh, going to school who said they should not go to school the people in the niger delta the some of them are into farming fishing they are into it but where they are doing their business the government say they, they are digging oil for their own sake or taking their own resources spoiling their own thing and that is the reason why the the unrest started in that area and now somebody is telling us that uh, these are uh, bandits who are lazy who do not want to do anything they are telling them to to do what to to, to be given amnesty they are they, 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 they are doing all manner of nonsense 
My question is, what is this bandit really looking for? Information for security authorities to arrest the situation before it gets out of hand. Hmm. The military should not see them as bandits, but terrorists. The terrorists dislodged at Sambisa Forest have infiltrated everywhere, parading as bandits. What is the difference between them? I don't understand. What is the difference between these uh, bandits and the terrorists that people are saying they should be following them? They are the same. Hmm? They share 10 and 10 and 10 and, uh, uh, 10 and pence or what do they call them? It's unfortunate. Listen to a careless talk. Ash on them. They kidnap innocents to rape them, collect ransom and see. Uh, 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 take their life for God's sake as they as they are animal living with animals with human skin lazy folks will always circumvent the rules to satisfy their whims and caprices except to exert force to whip them to them to the line so guys uh, let's know what you think about uh, this uh, grooming that's a uh, nobody sponsoring terrorism that is what is coming from this guy